Solid particles come in different types of shapes, but it is a common assumption that particles have the shape of spheres or relatively so, close to it. Now, this is because many solid particles have this spherical uh, shapes and it is also quite easier to analyze spherical shape particles. However, solid particles may also come in several other forms like the needle form, the prism form, a cube and so on. Now, such particles will require more information to measure and analyze their sizes. Information like the thickness, like length, and some other information depending on the complexity of the shape itself. Particle sizes also are called grain size and they refer to the diameter of granular materials. Or put more generally, the diameter of solid particles. Now, with an assumption that Solid particles are spherical in shapes. The particles are discreetly defined by specifying their diameter. For instance, gravel has a diameter ranging between 2 mm and 75 mm. Sand will have a distributed diameter between 0 0.05 to 2 mm. Clay even has a diameter which is less than 0 0.02 millimeter now we do not just define particle sizes in a system for the fun of it i mean it has useful applications in processes which involve solid particles defining particle sizes play an important role in solid processing for instance, small particles will dissolve more rapidly than larger ones. The flow properties of solid particles are strongly dependent on the sizes of the particles which are involved in the, in the process and several other reasons like that. So that when a process contains solids with large particle sizes, it is actually desirable to reduce these particle sizes. But the first thing to do in reducing the particle sizes will be to first of all define uh, the original size of the particles itself. Then we can now go on to break them down into uh, smaller sizes which are going to favor the process. Particle size distribution or PSD for short may uh, simply be defined as the relative amount of particles which are present in a solid sample. Now, in this PSD sample, the particles are distributed in the sample and they contain varying sizes of particles based on their diameter measurements. For instance, we have 5% of particles which are less than 1 millimeter in diameter. We have 10% of it, which are between 0 0.5 and 1 millimeter. We have about 40%, which are far less than 0 0.5 millimeter, and so on. Now, the distribution here uh, are calculated mostly by using the D values technique. Now, the D10, D50, and D90. Uh, uh, percentiles are the most used techniques for performing this kind of calculation. The particles are first of all arranged in an ascending order. Thereafter, they are divided into a specific number of intervals. Now, if, for instance, a D10 diameter of, say, 2 mm is um, selected, this will imply that 10% of that sample actually contains particles which are smaller than 2 mm. Similarly, if a D50 of 5 mm is selected, this will imply that half of the 
sample is smaller than five millimeter in size well talking about the results which are obtained from these measurements results can be presented in both a graphical form and a numerical form a graphical form will look like this it will be showing the or in some cases mass of particles which are below the d10 d50 and d90 diameter now the result presentation in aspen plus are going to be looking like what we have here the graphical plot and the tabular numerical results now we're going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of results as we perform our particle size distribution calculations in aspen plus projects